Hello my scholars, you are welcome to my school channel and my name is Frank. In this lesson video, we are going to be answering Jab CBT past question for biology year 2023. Please stay with us, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. So in this video, we will be answering question 41 to 60. So let's begin with question 41. Which of the following characteristics is typical of the phylum Anthropoda? A. Radar symmetry. B. Closed circulatory system. C. Endoskeleton made of bones. D. Presence of a segmented body. So the phylum Anthropoda is characterized by the presence of segmented body. And this is the key characteristic of the phylum Anthropoda. Example of Anthropodas include insects, spiders, and crustacea. So that makes option D the correct option. Question 42. Which of the following is an example of conserving resources in an ecosystem? A. Excessive use of chemical fertilizers in agriculture. B. Introducing invasive species to an ecosystem. C. Implementing sustainable fishing practices. And D. Cutting down trees for timber production. So the answer to this question is option C. Okay, so implementing sustainable fishing practices is an example of conserving resources in an ecosystem. This identifies a practice that helps in preserving fish population and maintaining the overall health of the aquatic ecosystem. Okay, so that makes option C the correct option. Question 43. Which of the following represents the correct hierarchical organization of life from the smallest to the largest scale? A. Organs, tissues, cells, organisms, populations, communities, ecosystem. B. Cells, organs, tissues, organisms, then down to ecosystem. Then C. Tissues, organs, cells, organisms, down to ecosystem. Then D. Cells, tissues, organs, organism, population, then down to ecosystem. Okay, so the correct um, hierarchical organization of life from the smallest to the largest scale is option D, okay, which begins with cell. We know that cell is the basic unit of life. So all life begins with cell. So the correct answer to this question is option D, cells, tissue, organs, organisms, populations, community, and ecosystem. So option D is the correct option. Question 44. Which of the following blood vessels carries oxygenated blood away from the heart? A. Arteries B. Venous C. Capillaries D. Veins Okay, so the answer to this question is option A. Arteries So arteries are the blood vessels responsible for carrying oxygenated blood away from the heart to other parts of the body. So option A is the correct option. Question 45. Which of the following factors primarily affects the distribution of organisms in an ecosystem? A. We have wind speed. B. Soil pH. C. Temperature. And D. Day length. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C. Temperature. Okay, so temperature primarily affects the distribution of organisms in an ecosystem. It is a crucial factor that influences the growth, survival, and reproductive capacity of organisms. Different organisms have specific temperature requirement and tolerance range, okay? So that makes option C the correct option. Question 46. Which of the following is not a method of reproduction in animals? A. Asexual reproduction. B. Budding. C. Sexual reproduction. And D. Sporulation. Okay, so the answer to this question is sporulation. So sporulation is a method of reproduction that is not common to animals. Okay, it's only common to some um, some group of organisms such as fungi and certain proteins. Okay, so sporulation involves the formation and release of spores, okay, which are specialized structures that are capable of developing into new individuals under uh, suitable circumstances or condition. Okay, so the answer to this question is D. Okay, so a sexual reproduction involves um, involves just a single parent. Okay, why budding, which is also a form of a sexual reproduction? Why option C, sexual reproduction, 
involves um, the friction of garment from two parents, okay? So the answer to this question is the sporulation. So sporulation is not a common reproductive uh, method among animals. So option D is the correct option. Question 47. Which of the following statements is true about the kingdom fungi? A. Fungi obtain nutrients by absorbing organic matter. B. Fungi are photosynthetic organisms. C. Fungi are multicellular organisms. C. Fungi reproduce through the formation of C. So the answer to this question is option A. Fungi obtain nutrients by absorbing organic matter. Okay, the reason being that fungi are heterotrophic, meaning that they can produce their own food. So what they do is they break down organic matter in their surroundings, such as decaying plants or dead animals, thereby absorbing the resulting nutrients. Okay, so that makes option A the correct option. Or those fungi are multicellular, but some fungi are unicellular. Okay, so option A is the correct answer. Do you know that you can take practice question with our simulated jump CBT pass question? All you need to do is to click on the link in the description below and this will take you to my school website. There you have to download my school mobile app for your Android devices and my school software for your laptops and computer. Please go ahead and start practicing. Moving on to question 48. Viviparity refers to the reproductive strategy in which A. Offspring are produced by internal fertilization B. Offspring are produced by external fertilization C. Offspring develop and are nourished inside the female's body D. Offspring develop and are nourished outside the female's body So the answer to this question is option C. So viviparity refers to the reproductive strategy in which offspring develop and are nourished inside the female's body Okay, until they are born Okay, so in viviparous species, the developing offspring receive food uh, or receive nutrient and oxygen directly from the mother through specialized structure such as placenta. Okay, and the viviparity is common to some animals and humans. So the answer to this question is option C. I believe you are enjoying this video content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, Tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next video. Question 49. Which of the following is the most inclusive level of classification in the linear system? A. Kingdom, B. Phylum, C. Domain, and D. Class. So the linear system of classification was developed by Kylenos. Okay, in this system, he used seven levels of classification which include uh, Kingdom, Phylum, Class, Order, Family, Genus, and Species. Okay, and of all these levels of classification, the most inclusive of them is the kingdom. So that makes option A the correct option. Question 50. Which of the following describes the inheritance of traits from parent to offspring? A. Adaptation. B. Evolution. C. Natural selection. And D. And D genetics. So genetics is the field of biology that studies the inheritance of traits from parent to offspring. It encompasses various concepts and principles, including studying of genes, DNA, chromosomes, etc. So option D is the correct option. Question 51. Which of the following statements best describe the role of competition in the process of adaptation? A. Competition leads to the selection of individuals with favorable traits for survival and reproduction. B. Competition ensures equal distribution of resources among individuals in the population. C. Competition leads to the development of new traits and adaptations in the population. And D. Competition reduces the need for adaptations as individuals coexist peacefully. So the answer to this question is option A. Competition leads to the selection of individuals with favorable traits for survival and reproduction. So when individuals within a population compete for limited resources like food, water, or meat, those individuals with favorable traits that enhance ability to acquire resources are more likely to survive and reproduce. So that makes option A the correct option. Question 52. Which of the following statements is true regarding sense link traits? A. Sense link traits are located on the sex chromosome. B. Sense link traits are inherited only from the mother. C. Sense link traits are more commonly observed in females. D. Sense link traits are not influenced by hormonal factors. Okay, so what are sense link traits? So, sense link traits are those traits that are determined by genes that are located on the sex chromosomes. Okay, example is X and Y chromosome in humans. Okay, so that makes option A the correct option. Sex link traits are located on the sex chromosomes. 
Question 53. Which of the following is a plant hormone responsible for promoting cell elongation and growth? A. Abscisic acid. B. Giberellins. C. Etalins. And D. Cytokinins. So the answer to this question is option B. Okay, giberellins. So giberellins are plant hormones okay, that plays a significant role in cell elongation and growth. So that makes option B the correct answer. Question 54. Which of the following is a primary source of pollution in aquatic ecosystem? A. Soil erosion. B. Industrial discharge. C. Air pollution. D. Deforestation. So the answer to this question is industrial discharge. So industrial discharge is a primary source of pollution in aquatic ecosystem. So industries produce various pollutants which are released into nearby water bodies leading to pollution of water and adverse effects on aquatic life. So that makes option B the correct answer, industrial discharge. Question 55. Which of the following mechanism is responsible for providing support in plants? A. Muscles and bone. B. Exoskeleton. C. Endocrine system. D. Cell walls and toggle pressure. Okay, so the answer to this question is cell walls and toggle pressure. So cell walls and toggle pressure are the mechanism okay, responsible uh, for providing support in plant. So the implant, the cell will give rigidity and strength to plant cells, thereby helping them to maintain shape and resist external forces. Additionally, toggle pressure, which is the pressure exerted by the cell content on the cell wall, helps to maintain the overall rigidity of plant and upright form of plant. So that makes option D the correct answer. Why the rest has to do with uh, animals, not plant. So D is the correct option. Question 56. Metamorphosis is a biological process that involves A. The growth and development of an organism from a zygote to an adult. B. The change in form and structure during the life cycle of certain organisms. C. The regeneration of lost body parts in an organism. D. The transformation of an organism from an adult stage to a lever stage. So we define metamorphosis as a dramatic change in body form and structure as an organism progresses through different stages in its life cycle. So these stages may include egg, lever, pupa, and adult. Now metamorphosis is commonly observed in some organisms such as essence, e.g. beetles, butterfly, and amphibians, okay, e.g. Uh, frog and samalander. Okay, so that makes option B the correct option. Do you have any question to ask? Please feel free to ask your question by clicking on the link in the description below. And this will take you to my school website. There you can ask all your questions and solution will be provided to you within a short period of time. Moving on to question 57. Which of the following organs is primarily responsible for excretion in humans? A. We have liver. B. We have pancreas. C. We have kidneys. And D. We have lung. The answer to this question is option C. Kidney. So kidney are the major excretory organs in humans. The fetal waste product, excess iron and water from blood to produce urine, which is then removed from the body. So option A and D are also part of the excretory organs in human body. They are not the major excretory organs in humans. Okay, so that makes option C the correct option. Do you have better explanation or steps to any of these questions? If yes, please go to the comment section below to comment the question number and the solution you wish to share. Question 58. Which of the following is the correct classification of carbohydrates? A. Lipid, B. Phytonutrient, C. Macronutrient, and D. Micronutrient. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C. Macronutrient. So, carbohydrates are classified as macronutrient because they are the major source of energy in our diet and as such, they are classified as, as that. Okay, why um, option A, carbohydrate is not lipid, it's not fat and oil. Why option D, carbohydrate is not micronutrient because they are required in large amount. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C, macronutrient. Question 59, which of the following eye defects is caused by the inability of the eye to focus light on the retina? A, glycoma, B, myopia, C, cataract, D, astigmatism. So the answer to this question is B, myopia. Myopia is also known as short-sightedness, okay, and it's an eye defect characterized by the inability of the eye to focus light on the retina. So a person suffering from myopia has the ability to see near objects clearly, but distant objects are blurred. It is caused when the eyeball is elongated or the cornea is too curved, causing coming light to focus in front of the retina instead of directly on it. So that makes option B the correct answer. Question 60. 
Germination is the process in which a seed A begins to photosynthesize, B develops into a mature plant, C absorbs nutrients from the soil, D breaks dormancy and starts to grow. So we define germination as the process by which seed breaks dormancy and starts to grow into a new plant. So germination occurs when a seed is exposed to favorable environmental conditions such as proper moisture, oxygen availability, and suitable temperature. Okay, so that makes option D the correct option. I believe you are enjoying this video content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.